What's going on guys, Octavian here playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, we're on the global version and we just got our daily update for the Friday banner and uh, kind of to our surprise we're getting the HD King Mickey banner which this literally just came out like last week guys in JP so pretty crazy that we're getting this so soon. Um, here we go, this is the metal. Now the cool thing about it is it is a falling price banner and on top of that, you get a magic broom with every single pull. So that's pretty awesome. The one in JP was not a falling price banner. Uh, it was a mercy with a, a metal called Pete. I'm guessing they're gonna keep doing these EXs on their own and then do like those debut deals on a lot of the mercies that JP had at least one more time until we get caught up i think their goal here is to get us completely caught up with jp so everything's rolling out together and i think the reason they're doing that is they've learned that by stuff coming out in jp early the people in global are finding out about it and they're hoarding their jewels for it meaning they're not spending it on any of the other banners so by doing this they're making people essentially you know feel like they need to spend their jewels on these banners and um you know, I get it. I get why they're doing it. And, you know, having everything all together is going to be pretty cool because then you never really know what's going to be coming next. Spending your jewels on stuff is going to be a lot, you know, more important knowing what you should and what you shouldn't. Now, here's my thought on this, guys. Here's what he does he does two hits that ignore attributes, and then for two turns, raises upright strength by two and targets defense down by two. This is a very solid metal. I use this in my JP setup, and it's great. Don't get me wrong. Here's the issue with it. It's not a mercy, guys. There's no guarantee of getting this metal, and I do not feel that it's ever a good option to go for something that's not guaranteed, especially when there's not a mercy included in it at all. You just got to hope you get lucky. So I personally, what I would recommend, especially if you have Days Riku, because this is very similar to Days Riku, just a little bit better, essentially. Days Riku actually has a higher multiplier than this one does. This one's only better because it does one extra upright, which if you're already double copying Kyrie EX, you don't need the extra upright. And then it's super effective against every element. So that's really where, where it shines. So if you have Days Riku, I wouldn't worry about this metal at all. I would skip this banner, maybe do a, a YOLO pull if you feel like it. But I really wouldn't recommend pulling on it. I would recommend saving your jewels for, for stuff coming up. I'm really still praying that we get a copy banner soon. I'm glad it wasn't right now because I just spent all my jewels on that daily or debut deal. Um, but like I said, guys, there's a good chance the way they're rolling these out, you know, we've missed quite a few more mercies. Um, so what I'm thinking is they're going to do another debut deal type of thing where it's going to be all the mercies that JP got. So, and there were some pretty solid ones like Jack Skellington, HDP, Oogie Boogie. So there's, there's some pretty cool models that could be coming out in that if they do it again, which I think there's a good chance that they're going to. All right, but let's go ahead and hop into the next thing here. Uh, we are getting the fill cup, which I'm pumped for. It's going to give us some jewels. Uh, it's just 3,000, but you do also get skip ticket pluses, which let you completely skip a medal. Now, here's the hard part of the challenge, guys. It's tier 4 and below. So this was really, really hard for me and JP. Um, I actually had a video on how to do it with some really unorthodox medals. So that might be something for you guys to check out. But if you have HPO, Pooh Tigger Rabbit, um, or especially right now, the Behemoth Metal is extremely helpful. Like if this is the same exact enemies as JP, the only one that's really hard is the final mission. In that final mission, there is a flying one, the purple bat enemies. That is the strongest enemy to kill. It's speed type. So if you got the behemoth and you got that with minus 60 air, which is the trait I would suggest going for, that's going to help you dramatically with this, guys, because that thing is going to do serious damage against that boss. So um, anyways, I'm going to be do doing a video for this, a strategy for this. Obviously, you can't use Kyrie EX. So this is this is a pretty serious challenge, guys. So stay tuned for that. 
uh, that's pretty much everything in the meantime. I did manage to get top 1000 uh, to get uh, four copies of the Genie and the Boosted copy. Um, I only combined two of them right now because I'm trying to make sure that I, I don't do guilt when it's not a guilt campaign. I did one and I got 122%, guys. That's why you don't do it. I really should not have done that. So hopefully we're due for a campaign anytime now. I got pretty bad traits on my first two rolls. Defense plus 2,000 and max gauges plus two. But on the bright side, I did get a boosted copy. So that still makes it a very good medal. Hopefully I get a really solid third trait. Uh, but I am going to be waiting until a guilting campaign to do that for you. So that's everything, guys. Uh, stay tuned for some information on the Phil Cup. I'm going to be doing a JP video just saying kind of the state of the game right now. Um, we've been getting some kind of weird banners and weird trends. So going to be going over that. In the meantime, though, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Definitely like the video if this was helpful. And subscribe if you're looking forward to future Kingdom Hearts Union Cross content. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.